Welcome back to In Photoshop 1. Often in Illustrator, we will create a gradient to illustrate depth and form. However, our choices can be limited. Occasionally, you will have to resort to other methods for shading. An excellent tool for doing so is the Blend tool. Found on your tool panel to the left, the Blend tool is an easy way to create a smooth transition between two or more shapes. To create a drop shadow underneath my two forms, I will first draw two ellipses. Then I will make my inside ellipse my darkest shade of gray. My outside ellipse will be set to the same gray, however I will lower its opacity. Finally, with my blend tool selected, I will click on the inside and outside ellipse. Just like that my drop shadow has been created. To acquire a more gradual gradient, I will scale down the size of my inside ellipse. Again, I will use my blend tool. You can see an immediate difference in my new shadow. I will place this new shadow under my form. Depending on your presets, this shadow may look different from my result. For example, if I zoom in to show my form in more detail, you can see the individual steps of value within the form. To get a smoother transition, I will double click my blend tool. This will lead to more options and control over how your blend tool responds to your selections. Smooth color is one of the many options that you may want to use, depending on your desired effect. I currently have my blend tool set to a specified amount of steps. I will change this value from 30 to 150. The before and after difference is obvious. The blend tool will also successfully blend two colors together. Rather than having a sharp shadow on my shoelace, I can blend the two colors and have a more realistic look to my shoelace. As you can see from these examples, the blend tool is an excellent way to create a hyper realistic drawing in Illustrator. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.